Always prepare for women to leave you. I don't care how much money, clout, or status you have, you must prepare for that day that she leave you. One of the realest things I ever heard is, she's not your girl, she's just your turn. You must understand that women are controlled by their emotions. Y'all could be chilling, vibing, having a good time. A thought could come across her mind that ain't got nothing to do with you, and all of a sudden she got an attitude, or now she in her feelings. Your girl could be the happiest woman on the planet in one moment, and then wake up the next day and decide she don't want none of this no more. Every situation or relationship has an expiration date, so you better be ready for it. Why is it that we talk about women on social media like they're indecisive children? Oh, Mr. Tyrone. I just gotta get free for you because you love the hoes. <laughs> I don't care if they don't like me. I came here to stunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if they don't What's good, everybody? If you're a first time viewer of my content or this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So this brother man here, his name is Game Affiliated. I don't really know much about his content on TikTok. Make sure you like the video, all right? Just want to put that out there. <laughs> but I don't know much about this man, Game Affiliated. But I came across this video on TikTok. And he basically goes according to the lines of, if for people who know stuff is cold, you know, he... From what I know, signature or created this term concerning the basis of she's not yours, it's just your turn, right? Now, concerning the basis of this whole narrative, you have a lot of young men, men around my age, I'm 23, so between the age of 18 and 24, who are growing more and more by the day, this desire to not get married, to not get in relationships, to not pursue women. And it's this negative notion that that is literally being projected in the world through social media concerning the basis of how we should look at women. I'm not saying there aren't immature females out there. <laughs> I'm not saying that there aren't women out there, the femme fatales, right? Toxic women out there who, you know, they just want to thrill. They want to go for a whole roller coaster ride. They always want to get the bad boys until they hit their late 20s to early 30s now they want to settle down however i think it's very toxic for us in this society to portray a narrative upon the basis of women alone you know telling men that most likely if you get in a relationship with a woman she's going to be on this honeymoon phase with you she's going to be all lovey-dovey all up in her fields in one moment and then the next moment she's going to leave you that's a very toxic mentality to have upon the basis of a relationship in women. There are a lot of good women out there that are literally looking for commitment, literally, literally trying to find relationships. The same thing can happen and vice versa. There are men out here who are trying to go for a thrill, who want to smash and pass, who want to roster, who want to have a good time. They want to be a pimp. They want to be a Mac, right? They want to live their best life. And in either way, whether it's a man or a woman, they can live their best life, right? Nobody's telling them not to live their best life. Nobody's telling them if they want to be a 304, if they want to hold around, they want to do all this type of stuff, right? They can do that. Do what you see fit. But I need you to understand that that doesn't discredit and that doesn't disregard the men and women out there who actually are looking for a partner. And what the red pill has done is that they have created, they have painted this canvas of seeing modern day women in this day and age as being immature, indecisive, lacking accountability, not pursuing men, not caring for men, basically being strong and independent, not needing men, disrespecting men, etc., etc. And that's just not the case. I would argue that modern women are the same set of women from a century ago. That there are a lot of women in this day and age that actually want to pursue relationships that are actually compatible for men. But because of social media, they have projected this illusion, this matrix to you that women are not compatible partners. Which is a very wild statement to make <laughs> and to project on social media, you know. But you have to understand, like, it is by nature for us to have children. It is natural for us to feel, you know, to feel this, this, this move, you know, this spirit, this, this 
energy within us that we want to have children, that we want to build a family. And the only way that we can do that is having marriage, is having a union, a commitment with our significant other and building with that person. But these red pill content, these, these red pill content creators, these red pill platforms, men like this, personally, just from what I'm getting from his platform in the fields I'm getting, they're not pursuing this or, or rather they're not creating a narrative or a platform to where they are encouraging or inspiring or setting the example for young men to pursue relationships that just because you go on social media and it's not working out for this man or that woman or this couple doesn't mean that that is to be projected upon the basis of how your relationship is going to turn out. Just because a man goes out and tries to find a good woman and it doesn't work out for him doesn't mean that when you go out and try and find a good woman that you're not going to find one. But you see, Medea has a way of having us believe in this illusion so much so that we will literally stay on our phone and continue to watch trauma after trauma over and over again. It's an addiction. To such a point that we will believe what is projected on social media. We will believe these podcasts, men and women, talking about how men are like this, men are trash, women are like this, women are trash. And because of what's being projected on social media, even more so some of us may have come from certain backgrounds to where single parent households, divorced parents, or dysfunctional households, and all that, you know, coming together. You know, just just building up on top of BS. As a result, you don't want to get married. As a result, you have issues having long term commitment with people. You know, you have commitment issues even outside of relationships. You can't commit to a job. You can't commit to a project. You can't even commit to working out. You know, this this affects every aspect of your life. And you have to really reflect and look at that. So concerning the basis of, of this conversation of relationships always have an expiration date. Women can't be uh, long term committed partners like. I'm tired of these negative notions. <laughs> I'm tired of these negative, you know, these these narratives that we continue to push upon our own people, upon one another. And it backfires and then we complain about the backfiring. So just something to keep in mind, I highly encourage that we start to use our platforms to actually do the opposite, to actually pursue relationships, to pursue one another, to understand one another, rather than to spew out this type of negativity. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this personally in the comment section below. All right. Respectfully. All right. Make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with other people. And before you go, check out these other videos. Hey. Long as I got God, black women and the squad.